Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video is surprise on the Lexus NX350H versus the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid comparison. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, the bell icon to be notified of new videos, and I really appreciate that thumbs up. Okay, so let's go over a few things here. This is a tonic silver, it's the beautiful color. And it's 184 inches for the length, 73 inches for the width, and about 65 inches for the height. So it looks really beautiful outside, I would say. And the back, yeah, it could be a little bit wider, I guess, but you know, you'll know that later. The tailpipes are hidden because it's hybrid. And we're in 18 inch wheels. Yes, the door handles don't really open. It's a touch pad sensitive. And it got redesigned, you know, recently. So that is 2022, I believe. All right. So. We're going to compare this vehicle against the most famous selling Toyota out there, I guess. It's the Toyota Hybrid, right? So RAV4 Hybrid, 181 inches for the length, 73 inches for the width, 67 inches for the height. This one's the Limited. I have some pictures for the XSE as well, so I try to incorporate both of them together. You notice the door handles are has some chrome on it. The wheels are finished, machine finish as well. And the front fascia has a nice looking grille. That is plastic, however. Now let's look at one of the things that are different. The NX powertrain. So notice the NX is really smooth, refined, 240 horsepower. Do you hear that? Well, that's the power. Under the power, you know, you're hitting the gas, accelerator, what have you and you know noise level is still very muted even though you do do hear something with the ECBT. So one of the things that you find this comparison against the, the RAV4 is the RAV4 doesn't have that much insulation. You probably hear more noise because it's more utility like vehicle and this one's more focused on the luxury side. Although it has more power. So it also held up by struts in the engine compartment, the hood. Both have insulation. This one has two, yeah, two hood latches. You can see that on the top. And you can see the engine compartment. Make note where things are positioned besides the Lexus logo on the engine cover. So note that. And it does use OW16 motor oil, very thin oil in particular. So, and we're going to do a quick look all right, against the RAV4 of the engine compartment. But no, also, this one has the RX electric motor, so it's gonna give it more power. So, solid hood, very nice. I really loved how it looks. Okay, this is the RAV4, it has a prop rod. Yes, it has the, the blanket, you know, insulation blanket to make it quiet in driving. But this one only makes 219 horsepower. Is 219 horsepower enough? Well. And next, we're going to look at the second row because I see differences between the two vehicles and very beautiful interior overall on the Lexus side, no doubt about that. But this, the middle seat is not, not much usable. I don't know why, but we found out not only that you lose three inches or so of the headroom, but the middle seat is quite small somehow. So very comfortable for four passengers overall, two in the back. But three in the back is stretching it, unless the ones in the back are kids. Say, you know, you have a RAV4 and you look at that one, the middle seat is very, very usable. And so let's take a look at the NX here. The power button's on the top, whereas the Toyota's lower. But you do notice that once again to the NX, the interior is very beautiful and very refined and a lot of good high-end quality touches compared to say the RAV4. But you do pay for it on the price, of course. This one has the 14 inch you know, multimedia system. I recommend you get this 14 inch if you want to see better. The base is a nine inch, which doesn't really do justice with some of the technology and the mass, but they're still viewable. And those are like 48K to 50K for those models in particular. So if you want to get the better infotainment, definitely do pay the extra price to upgrade that to the 14 inch. And you also could get it in the luxury model as standard so buttons out front simple to use no guessing game needed but it's touched it's just to get familiar with it 
You can turn the dial here and you can see the different temperatures as well. Very simple out in the front. Also, the other thing I want to know is if you buy an NX, probably want to look into at least the premium package. So I have a lot of amenities that are great for you with the premium package. So if you're looking at say the RAV4, everything's spilled out. The Limited actually has a lot of nice touches. You know, the seats are more comfortable in a way and say the XSC and the ride is going to be more softer compared to XSC, which is a little firmer ride. You'll see the infotainment over here. It's a 10.5 inch multimedia system. Everything is touch and I don't I haven't powered on, but the ventilation is also push button and the seats are ventilated on the luxury model and XSC. It just heated and you can see my foot position is really in a good way, uh, you know, very comfortable as well too. SUVs are comfortable. Uh, one other thing over here, you press the, the button, it's hard buttons, you press it, then it closes the lift gate. So yeah, that's a quick look at the back of the vehicle. And you say if you wanted the NX, kind of need, you, you think the NX would be for more of a luxurious ride, grocery getter, a commuter, and just want something nice to drive around. It's not going to be a sports car. It's not going to be a utility vehicle per se because it's had a lot of luxury features, but definitely a very nicely refined vehicle. And it doesn't have the tunnel cover. It has a shade that you find the Prius. It doesn't have a spare tire because it, you know, it has all this compartment to store stuff and also the batteries on the left. And I can open it as well too. But the thing is it has to run flat tires. That means uh, you have to change the tires uh, once it has a flat pretty much. And but it could go 100 miles, so you don't have to worry about that. But finding the run flat tire may be a little difficult depending on your location. It could be three to five days and it costs about $300 or so. But uh, you know, that's the thing you gotta take note of. You get run flat tires and it could be a little bit noisy on the road compared to conventional tire. So, but yeah, that's the quick look of the back of the NX. And so look at the back of the RAV4. You notice the wheel wells are contoured a little bit. It gives you a little bit more space and you have the tunnel cover. It just feels like wider overall. So that's, you know, utility like, but not a lot of special, expensive, luxurious feel and touch to it. But it definitely works really well if you need a utility vehicle, uh, point A to point B vehicle and it handles pretty decent. It's more like an economical vehicle if you think about it that way. And you know, the seats do fold down just like the NX and you also have hooks as well. You could attach a net or something to it. Please put in below which one you pick. You want to pick the rugged SUV like uh, utility vehicle or you put the luxurious cross utility vehicle as in the NX. And this one does look pretty good overall and handles pretty good, but it's not going to have awesome power as you find in the NX. It just has a little bit extra, <clears throat> not extra power overall. If you have a comment to share, please leave it below. Uh, please help subscribe and help me out for thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.